Hello, YouTube. Um, today we have an Asus ROG Republic of Gamers Strix, Republic of Gamers G513 QY SG15, and it requires 20 volts, 14 amps. From investment standpoint, Asus is, in my opinion, nowadays it pays about 3-4% a year dividend and has like P ratio of like 11 ish, 12 ish. So I'm not going to say anything bad about the company at all, uh, because uh, full disclosure, right? Again, I'm not financial advisor, but anyways, I, I, this, this channel has about thousand plus videos of different laptop makes and models being fixed over the last, uh, I don't know, 20 years or so, uh, just videos alone. The, the number of laptops has been fixed is, I don't know how many thousands, but a lot. So what I'm notices, noticing right now, this is the one of the most powerful laptops there are. This is a gaming system. It's a really expensive system. It's, I would say it costs like a car cost. The price for, for some of one of those systems, you could buy a car for that money someplace in like, I don't know, China or someplace. So what I started to notice is um, it comes in here usually for this power connector replacement, this guy. The connector basically can't handle the uh, 20 volts, 14 amps uh, going through the pins that are working like a springs there. I have many videos of that uh, connector being replaced. But um, so if you're buying a laptop for two, three, four thousand dollars, which I think this one is one of those. Now, the prices probably came down already, but you need to know one simple thing here. And that simple thing is that the more and more powerful processors, uh, many manufacturers starting to use this liquid uh, liquid cooling. It's not the thermal paste like regular paste. This paste, all right. Uh, this is a heatsink compound, some generic Chinese stuff. They started to use this um, liquid metal cooling. And so what I did here, I, I just took off the heatsink from the from the motherboard, and it's the same thing I see over and over and over and over and over and over on every single one of those expensive systems, the ones that are cooled with liquid cooling, and that's if you already noticed, is uh, this spot right here, that spot right there that spot right there, this spot right here, this spot and that spot. So on many systems, I replace this guy and st stuff still doesn't work because some people send it to me thinking it's the, this connector, but it's not that connector. It's usually either the GPU going out or the CPU going out. So one of two. Let me do a close up picture of what I got here. All right, so this is a CPU. You see there is a spot right here, right here. There is a spot in the crystal right here, a burn spark, uh, not spark, the spot like that. And we can see another one right there. So if you, and, and that's on the heatsink, you see it's overheating here, overheating there, overheating here, and that's going to be happening to every single laptop in the future because everyone is shifting towards this uh, um, uh, liquid metal cooling uh, stuff which i got here but i don't ever use it on the client's computer simply because i don't want to be responsible for the cpu and gpu melting down so in my opinion the trend I, again i'm nobody i'm just a guy who who makes money off of it I, i'm just a doctor because you come to a doctor, they usually prescribe you a whole bunch of stuff like uh, for many pharmaceuticals companies in, which pay really good dividend, especially now if you look at one of the companies after 2019, it went all the way up and then now it crashed all the way down. But the dividend is like 10% a year. So I'm not going to name names, but I put some money in it, like a thousand bucks because it pays 10% a year in dividend and we're probably going to have <laughs> something else uh somebody else gonna 
do another demographic correction. So anyways, so um, the point is here is that um, again, I also have some money in ASUS because they do pay dividend and PE ratio is really small, but um, like 10 ish or so. I mean, where else would you get a 10 PE ratio? And the boards that they produce are pretty much put into every single laptop there is. I mean, ASUS produces motherboards for so many different brands. It's uh, not even funny. So, um, yeah. So yeah, that's what uh, I wanted to show you the video about is that what's awaiting for you in the future is this, all right, for every single laptop making model, which is a good thing because I'm gonna have more business of fixing stuff, but I don't want to deal with replacing of GPUs and CPUs, but just, uh, just before you're gonna buy a gaming laptop, you need to be aware of that, all right, that. It's it's bear mark here, bear mark right there, bear mark right there. It's all because that liquid paste, I mean not the liquid paste, but the liquid metal paste, it just spreads around the uh, the. Uh, so you see, it flows, it flows. It, even even now, I mean, I can see it flowing from one side to another side. So, and because it's a laptop, it doesn't sit straight. I mean, right there, if you look at that, you see, it flows from here to here you see it's still flowing it, it it i didn't all i did was i took this thing off and uh, because it's flowing it flows away from the from the hottest area it flows away to the area where it doesn't need to work as hard you know it's like uh it's like many companies that burning for cash right now you they everybody's working from home and everybody has five different jobs i mean you can work on amazon facebook and uh, so the only guy who works is, is Elon Musk. That's the only guy. Everybody else is just having five jobs and traveling in Thailand someplace. At least that's from my perspective. Anyway, so nobody works. Um, uh, and, and the same thing here, you see, it's all flowing and it's all... Um, this is your future, guys. This is your future. So... So before you're gonna spend two thousand dollars on a gaming laptop, doesn't matter which brand. It seems like, uh, I mean, maybe a year or two, and and that's that's it, that's it. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Again, I have nothing bad to say about ASUS. As I love ASUS because of three percent dividend a year, uh, forward PE ratio of ten. It's just the same thing. You come to a doctor, they're gonna prescribe you everything the risk for you to prescribe and um, so again my personal opinion everything's great all right just wanted to point out a few things what's gonna happen after warranty expires all right all right <laughs> thanks so much please leave a like subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day and if you got the same model for the power jack repair i will replace the jack right now clean this thing up and uh, and everything should work i hope uh, because uh, usually it's much worse. The burning is much worse than that. All right, I can do another close up. But again, any laptop you take apart, any laptop with the liquid metal cooling, you will see exactly the same problem. One other important thing I forgot to uh, explain to you. Basically, if you're gonna use the liquid metal cooling, uh, what's gonna happen is uh, Sometimes this uh, liquid metal, it it flows beyond the cooling area. It can flow into the motherboard, like here or here or here or someplace, and or like right there. And this uh, liquid metal cooling is conductive. All right, it conducts the electricity through it. So let me let me just demonstrate. So here, for example, right. Let, let's just do from here to here. You see, it conducts the electricity just fine, okay? Right there. So once it conducts the electricity and it flows over from the area where it's supposed to be at, uh, it shorts the motherboard. And that's another thing I'm seeing here all the time. Shorted capacitors, for example, those two yellow pieces right there. Uh, you probably can't see it, but those two right there. 
uh, or that one or that one or that one. If this liquid metal gets to that part, it will short it out and the laptop is dead. Again, many laptops I get here. Many laptops I receive here. Either the GPU is burned, CPU is burned, or something shorted right there because the liquid metal cooling, which comes from the factory, from, again, doesn't matter if it's wh wh whoever the brand is. Uh, this is uh, basically why you're gonna buy a new laptop every single and there seems to be some sort of spot right there from overheating or maybe from some or maybe that was a cooling pad here i'm not sure what that was but this is it all right this is why your laptop gonna die like be because this liquid metal should not be here to begin with all right this should not be here that should not be here all of that only happens if you use the liquid metal all right so if 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 you're being sold on the idea of cooling the CPU or GPU liquid metal, I mean, <laughs> all right. So again, thanks so much for watching. And by the way, when you clean this thing up, you have to be extremely careful cleaning it up because if any of that stuff spills onto the motherboard, it doesn't matter what you do here or here or whatever else you whatever else repair you do. It's gonna short the motherboard when you try to power it up, okay? So when you're taking this guy off, be extremely careful not to drop any... By the way, hold on one second, what's that? No, okay, that's all good. Try to do it carefully so that all the liquid metal would stay on the CPU and GPU. And when I'm gonna reassemble it, I'm just gonna put a regular uh, paste like that because I'm sure this thing and that thing is gonna last much longer if I'm just gonna use a simple, uh, simple Chinese... Oh, I mean, it's all made in China anyway, but um, something like a silicone or whatever. So, yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Thanks. The company is right here. Those are the rates for replacing these guys. All right. Thank you.